Hey there everyone, so in today's episode, I'm gonna show you exactly the treasures that I found at the Redlands International Orchid Festival. I'm gonna show you exactly what I got, and then I'm gonna also talk to you guys about exactly what I plan on doing with them and some projects that I do have in mind. And at the very end, I'm gonna be talking to you guys exactly what was most important to me. And as you guys know, this was the very first time I was attending the Redlands International Orchid Festival, so I definitely did not know what to expect. But to top it off, I did tell you guys that I was celebrating my 21,000 subscribers there at the Redlands Orchid Show. So I definitely, definitely did not know what to expect. But I have to tell you, the event, the time with you guys was so humbling, so uplifting lifting. I could not believe just how crazy you guys were about orcas just as much as I was and I could not believe how much my orchid adventures had impacted you as well. So I definitely thank you for the positive feedback, the outpour of love. I mean the whole occasion I have to tell you is something so sacred to me. I treasure it within the most deepest, most sacred place in my heart. It was such a magical event for me and you guys allowed me to really enjoy the show to the fullest, to the max. It could not have turned out any better. And I wanna let you guys know that I truly do love and appreciate the outpour of love that you guys have shown me and you guys have have thoroughly inspired me to do even greater things. Indeed, my eyes are totally on the prize and we are on the move to reach the fullest and greatest potential of what my orchid adventures can truly be. And because of that, I thank you. And if you guys did not see that video, I welcome you to go ahead and check that video out. Again, it was just an amazing, phenomenal event. And go ahead and click on the link right here and it'll take you guys directly to that video. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get this orchid party hall started and let's do it right now. Bam, 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 and boom. Okay, so the very first orchids that we are going to be taking a look at are the orchids that I did purchase from Andy's Orchids. And majority of these all are Bulbophyllums except for one which is a Selogeny. And these were ranging at the price of five to eight buccarinis. So indeed, great prices from Andy's Orchids. I do wanna point out that the orchids that I did purchase from Andy's were at tip top condition when I first got them. Now, unfortunately, on the way home, my husband actually accidentally left the orchids in a bag and put them in the trunk. So therefore, it overheated and caused a lot of damage to the orchids. So unfortunately, this is the way they look now, but they did not look that way again when I first got them. So please do not think that Andy sells their orchids like this. Unfortunately, it was all my husband's fault. Yes, it was. Now, one of the things that I did love most about shopping with Andy's orchids is the fact that they are so customer friendly in the regards of making everything so self-explanatory as you can see here with their tags. Their tags are gonna have the actual name of the orchid also, it's going to have the catalog number, where it is from, and also the culture in regards to water, temperature, and light. And also another phenomenal feature about their labels is this right here. And the function of this barcode right here is if you have an iPhone, you can literally scan it with your camera feature and it'll take you directly onto a website where it'll give you in detail information about the culture. Also, it'll show you a very in detail picture of what the blooms look look like and also about the care and what the orchid needs. So you'll get all of that information by scanning this barcode and you won't even have to speak to a single soul at all, which really makes it really convenient to find out exactly everything you need to know about the orchid and if it is right for you. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna show you each and every individual orchid that I did purchase. Now, I'm not gonna give you an up close personal look on each one. Again, I did tell you that they did sustain some extreme damages, and I'm gonna have to go through a restoration recovery process with each one of them, but I definitely did wanna show you what each type was that I did purchase. And many of these do have difficult names to pronounce, so more than likely I will be mispronouncing them, but you will see the tag and the actual name itself, so you will know exactly which ones they are. And this particular one right here, which is coming from Thailand, is a Bulbophyllum serhapatillum. And this particular orchid right here is coming from Malaysia. And again, it is another Bulbophyllum, but this time it is a Lilacinum. This particular orchid right here is a Selogeny. That is a pretty nice size. And this Selogeny actually mimics the Pandorata, which you guys know have phenomenal, beautiful flowers. And this particular one is coming from Java, and it is called the Selogeny Meyeriana. And last but not least coming from Andes is this Bulbophyllum right here. And this is a Bulbophyllum megaclinium coming from Madagascar. And our next batch of orchids and also tropical plants are coming from Tom Ritter's orchids. So let's go ahead and check out exactly what that is all about. Please note that some of these orchids right here are bare rooted in preparation for a major mounting project that I do have on hand. And I will be sharing with you my major mounting project, more information on that near the end of this video. And the very first orchid that we are going to be taking a look at is this stunning orchid right here with its very big show-stopping eye-catching blooms right here. As you can see, very appealing in color with that very deep purplish magenta color. Also, if we take a look, very bold pattern in this for sure. Again, very eye-catching and very appealing is this orchid right here. And let's take a look at what she is. And this very stunning gal is a Bolera Marfitch Select. And this orchid right here is a fun-loving Cymbidium, and it blooms a white flower. This is a Cymbidium Sarah Jean Ice Cascade, and it's also AM AOS awarded, and this is going to be a part of my mounting project. And this little species Dendrobium right here is so surprising to see all in bud as it is right now. Again, it's a tiny little dendrobium. This is a Dendrobium parisii trabello. And indeed, I cannot wait to see all of these blooms. And this very big mass and also chunk of Angregatum right here is bare rooted and again will be part of our mounting project. And it should be quite awesome to see this mounted and also blooming. Fingers crossed, guys. And this very cute and adorable little orchid right here will also be included in the mounting project. And this is a Leparis grossa. And this is a BLC Aloha Mermaid. And this one is also going to be nicely put in a mount as well. And somehow I did manage to pick up two Phalaenopsis right here. This one in particular is a Phalaenopsis bastianii. And this fragrant beauty right here, unfortunately, is a UFO. I did lose a tag, so it is an unidentified fabulous orchid. Very fragrant and also very beautiful. And yes, indeed, I did pick up a Catacetinae type of orchid. And this one in particular is a Cycnotes Super Swan 25. And as you can see, it is at a good size. So we are hoping to get a spike very soon. Okay, so now we're gonna let the cat totally out of the bag and we're gonna find out what's in here and also what's in here. Meow. And out of the very first bag, we are finding this nice size bundle of Tarit Vandacious Orchid right here. Very healthy, very large. And this is an orchid that will bloom a very deep purple blossom. So I'm very excited to see the blooms off of this Tarit Vandacious Orchid. And can you guys recognize this particular plant right here? This is a plant that bears a very unusual and tropical fruit known as the dragon fruit. And if we take a look down here, I have several cuttings that I am going to be rooting up. 
and these particular cuttings are going to be the dragon fruit that is the white variety and let's go take a look at my other dragon fruit of which I'm very excited about because I do have a dragon fruit plant already a very large huge one right here and this particular one is actually the red variety so I'm excited to also get the white variety and right here we do have a paphio petalum type very large in size right here and this is considered to be a sequential bloomer and as you can see it has a phenomenal bloom with very nice striations and also nice spottings within the petals and the sepals. And as you can see right here, it also has nice curvature and the very spirally petals as well. So very, very beautiful and interesting bloom. And this particular Paphiopetalum is a Paphiopetalum bernice. And right here is a very rare, very hard to find Tillandsia type of plant right here. This is the vining type that creeps and crawls and take a look at there. Very interesting in the way that it grows and this will actually grow into such a mass of intertwining plants. Very neat in its texture, also very neat in its shape and its curves and its spirals. This is the Tillandsia intermedia. And I also picked up some of the most interesting and beautiful and unique blooming hibiscus bushes right here. This one is a Japanese lantern and oh boy, it has such frilly lacy petals, very unique, very beautiful in its coral reddish color. And also with this one right here, this is a Chinese lantern and this one has a very deep red with also outlines of a nice beautiful yellow. So indeed beautiful blooms on these hibiscus and I cannot wait to get them out of size where they can bloom and usually it takes but only about a year to get them to bloom. So these are fast growing hibiscus as well. And right here we have the heart shaped Hoya which I'm very excited to get and also very excited to see that it is currently producing its buds its flowers so here in a little bit we'll be able to enjoy these very unique and beautiful blooms and oh my goodness i almost forgot this one right here this is a catacetum variety orchid and is a gift coming from carlos of sunset valley also known as the orchid geek and i had the privilege of meeting him for the very first time and this was a gift that was given to me and this particular one is a catacetum tenebrosa times catacetum double down thank you so much carlos and i cannot wait to see it bloom Okay, so to see the last of my haul, we're actually going to have to take a stroll through Driftwood Alley right here, which is my new growth space that houses all of these amazing and huge pieces of driftwood that I am going to do some major mountings on. So that's my latest and greatest mounting projects, which I am so excited to see exactly how it turns out. And again, I have all sorts of different types and sizes of driftwood. So it's just going to be so exciting to see exactly how this comes about. But back to the subject at hand, another orchid that we did get from Tom Ritter's orchid is this particular one right here. This stands at two feet tall and this is an Aranthera right here, a cross of an Arachinus and also a Renanthera. And right here is another very large beauty standing at about two feet tall. And this is a Renanthera that blooms clusters and clusters of beautiful, big, bold red blooms. And take a look at this. I also got all of these beautiful bromeliads as well. 
very nice striation and colors on these and this is just a mass of bromeliads and these will continue to give its pups and just keep growing and branching out beautifully i'm telling you these are so wonderful and i also got another type of bromeliad as well and i got about four of these and these i'm also going to be mounting and these are beautiful with their green and white striations variegated and also nice blushing of that pink or reddish color as well. And speaking of bromeliads, oh my goodness, do I have quite a collection for you. I have gotten bromeliad obsessed and bromeliads are just growing throughout my garden and I have to tell you they are just so beautiful and tropically delicious. I could not be even more happier than this with this new collection that I have. And I have to tell you, I have over 50 varieties of these beautiful bromeliads right here. And you've got to admit, look how tropically delicious these enhance my orchid garden. Oh, and before I forget, because I almost did, I also made two more purchases at Benjong Nursery and also a Heavenly Garden. And the purchases that I did make at a Heavenly Garden were these two bromeliads right here, specifically known as the Cryptanthus and also the Earth Star bromeliad. Now, what I did purchase at Benjong Orchid was this holy container right here, this cutout clay pot. And within that clay pot contained this humunga, dunga wunga of a vandacious orchid right here. Now, unfortunately, I did not acclimate it properly in my conditions and in my environment, and it did receive too much sun, so therefore it did get sunburned, but that was in my care. And this particular vandacious orchid, very fragrant and having lots and lots of babies and lots and lots of blooms off of two spikes is a Vanda Ben Fantasy, which is a combination of a Denisoniana and also a Mimi Palmer. How beautiful and very fragrant. Those are the treasures that I did find at the Redlands International Orchid Festival. And these are actually only from two vendors. I have to tell you, I was running around like like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to scoop up whatever orchids that I could get in such little amount of time because I actually spent majority of my time meeting my friends and also my subscribers from all over the world. Oh my gosh, I could not believe it. Again, I am just so overwhelmed. So my time ran out. I mean, the horn sounded and after that horn, none of the vendors will sell to you because you know it's a probability that they could get penalized so they just won't do it so the only two actual vendors that i had been able to have the opportunity of purchasing orchids were from linda ritter's tom ritter's orchid or ritter's one and also andy's orchids so that's all i was able to do i have to tell you the craziest thing happened okay now usually i go over over budget. That's right. Believe it or not. I know you guys know the feeling because you've been there, done that, but I have never went under budget. Well, in this particular case, I did. And I went so under budget that I only spent about 25% of the monies, the funds, the buckaroonies that I did have to spend. Can you believe it? Unbelievable, unheard of. But again, it was not a loss at all because I had the opportunity of meeting you guys and that is what meant most to me. That is the best haul that I could have ever gotten was the memories that would last a lifetime. I will never ever forget it because the moments I was able to engage with you, to meet you, to talk with you, to get to know you, I'm telling you is absolutely absolutely uncomparable. There's nothing that could ever compare to that. I mean, again, miraculous opportunity to meet you 
first hand. I mean, I would not have missed that for the world to see how much love that the orchid community has and how much passion that we hold within our hearts. I mean, it was so unreal for me to be able to witness that. Again, just a magical, miraculous moment. So that, my friend, is the best and greatest and most important haul that I could ever walk away with. And there you have it, folks. That brings us to the conclusion of our Redland and also our Orchid Nursery haul. Please be sure to let me know exactly what you thought of this haul and also which ones were your favorite. And also, if you've recently attended an orchid show or perhaps visited an orchid nursery, please be sure to let me know exactly what treasure finds you found and also what were your lovely new additions. And if you have never attended an orchid show, oh my goodness, you are totally missing out. I would definitely highly recommend that you visit an orchid show just as soon as possible because you will find some incredible orchids and you will meet some phenomenal orchid people that are definitely just as crazy about orchids as you are. And I really am hoping that you will not just take my word for it, but you will definitely attend an orchid show. And who knows, guys, you may see me in your neck of the woods. I really do hope that you guys like this video. And if you did, please be sure to give it a green thumbs up and also like, share and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please be sure to join me on my Instagram and also on Facebook at My Orchid Adventures. And there you have it, folks. I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures and please be sure to stay tuned for more. And with that being said, I will see you guys later and I'll also grow with you guys later as well. Bye bye for now. Mwah.